three, two, one, and stop. Begin to count your food. Put your result under trial two and make sure that you put it, or actually you can put it under trial three. Okay, we're getting ready to get up and migrate to a new island. Put your food back on the island. Let's migrate. Don't worry about what's in there. I'll just dump it in here. Remember anything? Uh, you need to take your beak with you. You won't be able to get no food without a beak. Everybody ready? We're starting to look for food in three, two, one second. Let's go. Forty-four. Okay, let's migrate. Okay, this is your last thirty seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Now remember that y'all are on an island with another bird that's just like you, trying to eat, just like you. You trying to get that food before they get it all. You have three seconds. Okay, let's count. Don't worry, I'm getting ready to take those numbers now. Okay, Shaquavius, on island one, trial three, what did you get? What number did you get? 36. On island two? 25. On island three? Mahogany, island one? 31. Island two? Uh, island three? Kayla, Island one. Island two. Twenty-six. Island three. Eighteen. Marcel. Twenty-two. How many? Nineteen. Okay. Thirty-nine. Twenty-five. Jeremiah. Twenty-one. Okay, keep going. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Eleven. And John. Forty. How many? 
Okay. All right, now just from your experience, your personal experience from this group, tell me, which bird be, do you think that the most? What do you think? The tongs. And tell me why. So you think they were the best? Tell me why. Because they're long and easy to use. So Shaquavia said that he thinks the tongs were best because they're long and easy to use. That's why they could pick up so many seeds. Micaiah and Marcel, which ones do you think were the best? The tongs. You think the tongs and you think the tweezers. Okay, cool. Why do you think the tongs were best? Because you could, uh, it's not hard to pick up. It's like, it's easy to get. Uh, it's easy to pick up. Okay, so Michaela thinks that it was easier to maneuver, easier to handle, so her beak was rolling for her then. Marcielle said that he thinks that the tweezers were the best. Why? Because they're more precise in picking up stuff than just the tongs are, and you can also speed up with them. So you can speed up more with the tweezers than you can with the tongs. So that tongue is big, but it's bulky, right? Okay, John and Jeremiah, tell me what you think. Think the tongs? Why do y'all think that the tongs? So with the right, you pick up the tongs to the roots. Okay, so John said he thinks with the tongs because with the small seeds, you can pick up more than one. What you think? Okay, pretty much the same thing. Jeremiah said that the tongs were like a pelican's beak. It was wide and you could pick more things up. So tell me this. Were any of you in a situation where you feel like you had to adapt? Your beak wasn't working for you and you had to do something different. Turn it to the side. Go a different way. Is there anything that you could do about that? Say what? The big ones? The tongs? The rocks? Oh, on the, on the large ones, you had problems? Okay, so John had problems on the, with picking up the large seeds, and he had the tweezers. Um, one last question. Instead of just being one of you, there were two of you trying to get food at the same time. What's that called? Competition. Competition. So, did any of y'all feel any stress from competition? Tell me why. Why didn't you feel any stress? We and yeah, you were both getting to eat. Why? How much food is there? Plenty of food was plentiful, right? So because food was plentiful, you were good. What do you think would have happened if there wasn't that much food and y'all were still trying to get the same amount? Y'all would have been smashing beaks. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel said y'all would have been smashing beaks. So y'all might have had to come up against each other to try to get that food. One last, uh, I say that was the last question, but this is it. What does that have to do with life for real? In real world situations with animals, adaptation, com uh, competition, and survival. Who, what, who would have to go through natural selection? So real animals have to go through natural selection too? Okay, and how does that look? How do you think it looks in the real world? And by crazy you mean? <laughs> wild. wild. So we talking Nat Geo wild or <laughs> out in the street two dogs fighting over a bone wild? What kind of wild? Just wild. Okay. More like well, it's okay. That's food for thought. So what we're going to do is later you're going to look at these. I'm going to give you each other's numbers so that you can tally up and complete your chart. And we'll finish the calculations and any observations or statements that you want, you can just write them down on your paper and submit them to me and we'll discuss.